next generation n class is straightforward compared to the old one i love this version because the questions and the case studies were very straightforward i have invited these uh, two gentlemen mr samuel and mr tarvis they have uh, presented the, the next generation NCLEX and they have passed the NCLEX successfully. I want to offer you guys the opportunity to talk to these uh, nurses out there, the ones that are here live, the ones that will be seeing your video later on on YouTube. But I want you to share with, the, with them your experience on how was your NCLEX preparation altogether if you have taken the NCLEX in the past and have failed to talk a little bit about that experience, but most important, how was the next generation NCLEX? How different it was if you took the NCLEX before? What words of advice would you give these nurses around the world that are listening to you on what they need to do to pass the NCLEX successfully? It still feels like I'm dreaming, actually, because this is my sixth attempt. Six attempt. Mm -hmm. So you you did it five times mm -hmm. on the previous NCLEX, and now you only did it one time with the minimum amount of questions on the next generation NCLEX. Wow! Yes, spending just two hours, fifteen minutes. Whoa, that's <laughs> amazing. How about you, Mr. Torres? This is my first time. First time. First yes. time on all together. All together. Okay. Wow. I did not overthink nothing. And I used to change my answer before, but this time around, I didn't change nothing. So whatever I choose, I choose and I moved on. I kind of, I'm a slow reader. So I used up as much of my time as possible. And for me, I, I wouldn't say I second guess myself, but the answers that made sense, I clicked it, but then I hesitated. And I realized that that was one of my weaknesses where I would intentionally read the question two and three times and make sure that's the correct answer before I moved on. How many questions did you do, Tarvis? So I think because at, at that time, my, the computer shut off for me at about 123, I think. But 123. Around yeah. that, I, I just remember I was answering questions. So I... <laughs> Yeah, you, you, you weren't paying attention to that. How about no. you, Mr. Samuel? You logged me out on 85. 85. Okay, so the minimum, the minimum questions. Yes. Now, Samuel, how many um, case studies, like full case studies, six questions, case studies did you get in your exam? Okay, I had three, three full, six, I mean, three case studies of six questions each. Okay, how about you, Mr. Torres? I had about six or seven case studies. Full case studies? Yeah, or, about six or seven. Like the ones that come six questions in a row? Wow. Yeah. Wow. And I had at least about maybe 10 standalone questions. Wow, I wasn't expecting that one. Yeah, <laughs> me either. <laughs> well, I guess but it's good because... The more you get, the, the more you get those style of questions, the better because they're partial, partial credit. Yes. yes. I had a lot of SATAs too. And the SATAs, I will just say this to everyone on the SATAs, just choose what makes sense to you. It's possible you just choose two answer and that might be the answer. Don't overshoot your responses. So like if it is five, I mean, if it is six responses, if it is just two that makes sense out of the OCs, Click it and nest your question. Don't hard on to it. Okay. Now, how many prioritization style of questions did you guys get? How about you, Mr. Simon? I had, towards the end, I had 15 prioritization questions. And that was where you comes in a lot. That was where the critical thinking comes in. Okay. How about you, yeah. Mr. Charles? I think I had about the same amount. Um, I had the questions that I had were tailored towards education. So I saw a few priority questions, but my main, the whole exam was mainly education. Like teaching? Yes, either nurse teaching or nurse education or teaching a patient. 
So that's what like the bulk of where my questions came from. You didn't get any of those questions like, here are four patients, what patient you will see first? You didn't get many of those? I didn't get much, maybe 15 or 20. Oh, that's a lot. <laughs> 15 that's or 20 is a lot of questions. <laughs> You just got so 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 much overwhelmed with the other style of questions that you were like, ah, priorities, I got it. I got that one under control. It's I got those. Style of questions. Wow. Amazing. Amazing. Now, how similar or different in difficulties would you compare like the U-World style next generation NCLEX in comparison to the next generation NCLEX official questions? Did it seem... Harder, hard. easier, or about the same? I feel like I feel like you world is hard compared to what I saw there. Maybe probably because I test harder on my you world because I finished all my you world uh, next generation questions. So when I see their their case studies, I feel like it is on point. Like you world helped me with the content. So as far as content is concerned, you world is good. But with the critical thinking, that's where you comes in. Okay. So it's like 50% critical thinking, 50% content, and 100% God. <laughs> 100% God. That's true. Yeah. How about you, Tarvis? Did you practice any of the NGN style of questions on any QBank? Yes, I also use you world. Uh, for me, I know my weakness was content. So you world was perfect for me because your world's questions were more content-based. And uh, the case studies for me were similar, or, but I would say that NCLEX case studies and questions are very vague and very generic. And you have to figure out what they're saying and then determine what the answer is, as opposed to where I'm comfortable with your world with it highlights certain words that you have to pay attention to. NCLEX doesn't do that. It just gives you what they want and the four or five or six responses that you have to select from. So for me, I enjoyed using UWorld for the content of it. And their case studies to me were spot on. Their case studies helped me a lot. Okay. Did you, did, did you guys have any of the Baotai style of questions? I had, I didn't, I didn't have I, they were the, at, when I was heading towards the end of my exam, that was the most questions that I was seeing, those bow tie questions where I had to read the scenario and figure out what exactly they were looking for. So at the end. <laughs> Tarvis, man, I think, I think they wanted to take you out of that NCLEX because <laughs> you had a tough exam. <laughs> it, it does add a tough exam. Wow. Yes, but uh, the, the standalones were, to me, I would say they were pretty straightforward. They weren't difficult because I practice daily with those. I try to do at least three case studies per day from when I first began studying, and that really helped me a lot. Okay. All right. And uh, did uh, how did NCLEX Crusade help you throughout your exam? Tarvis and Samba? Uh, as far as Enclus Crusade is concerned, because I've been with Enclus Crusade now, because I graduated last year, May. So since June, I've been with Enclus Crusade. I finished all your videos. Like, I can't count the number of times I finished all your videos. So it's like your voice is always on my head. So, <laughs> <laughs> so when I was like, there are some questions there that it's not even content based. You have to critically analyze those things. You can't rush it. Some you can just read and understand immediately, but some you need to analyze those things. And that's where you really help me. How many selector that, selector that apply questions did you guys have? I had 27 selector that applied. 27. How about you, Mr. Tarvis? I had about maybe 20, 25. How many options in each selector apply? At least five. Some were five, some were six. What are the areas you got the case studies from? Like what uh, topics, what nursing topics? Uh, I got asthma, exacerbation. I had uh, osteoporosis. 
and uh, cold prolapse. Those were my three case studies. I had maternity. I had three questions dealt with the patient. And then the other three dealt with how the nurse would respond, seeing that the patient is a sexual offender and how the nursing, how the nurse in charge would respond to the nurse who didn't want to see the patient. So my, my case studies were a little different. Now, I had a few that I can't even remember. That exam is fuzzy to me. <laughs> <laughs> I know, it's hard, it's hard. The maternity, but, do you remember what topic about maternity? Yes, I think it had to do with, it was, I think, two, where I had with one mother was a drug addict that, and on the other maternity question had to do with a mother coming in with certain symptoms and that you had to decipher what was going on and what was happening with the baby. And the third one, the fourth one was to deal with the premature baby. Okay. And the and fifth one had to do with, there was a respiratory complication, a guy overdosed. And the sixth one had to do with, uh, I think it was osteo versus, osteo versus plantar fasciitis. And the rest were just standalone. I remember the standalone, sort of vaguely. Did you guys have any drag and drop style of questions? I didn't have drag and drop. I had one. One. Did you have uh, those style of questions that you have to complete the sentence? Yes. Yes, I had those. Yeah. I had several. Several of those. You, you too, Sam. Yes, I had those. Any hot spot? Like, do you have to click on an image or any anything like that? No. Any place in order style of questions? No. But they were asking some advanced stuff. But, you know, I can critically think through it. And that's where you, like, kind of comes in, you know. How about you, Mr. Tarvis? So for me, I actually stumbled upon your videos by accident at work. <laughs> so I, I was at work one night and I started to study from like last year, October, and the video just popped up and it said that, how can you pass the pharmacology? Pass the pharmacology, um, it was that seven day. A seven day training. Yes, and that popped up and this guy with the funny accent caught my attention immediately. So. I was like, he, he's really speaking to me. So <laughs> from then, <laughs> from then I kind of latched on to all of your videos. I think I've watched all of your videos, all of the seven day videos that you posted. I've watched the majority of the videos in your membership. And they kind of helped me a lot with the pharmacology, the way you broke down the questions that really helped me through those, even with those you were questions, the way I, the way you broke those questions down and made it so simple, that kind of helped me a lot in terms of my critical thinking to not just think that, oh, it's because I was looking for someone that would help me think critically because I know my weakness was content, but the critical aspect was what I needed. And your videos helped me a lot with the critical thinking part that we break down each question. So that helped me greatly. Any EKG or doses calculation? I had one EKG and that was uh, HR fibrillation. One? One EKG? Yeah, HR fibrillation. Any dosage calculation? No. How about you, Mr. Torres? I had one EKG and it was to identify a normal sinus rhythm. Did you, did you feel time was an issue with those case studies and standalone questions? No. Uh, as for, uh, okay. As for me, I wasn't paying attention to the time. <laughs> I I'm was sorry. I wasn't paying Harvey attention to Harvey was he was paying yeah, attention to the clock <laughs> <laughs> how, how about you Travis since you did a, a longer test so the question the, the time because like I said I'm a slow reader I kind of took like at least three to four minutes per question so the case studies for me were a lot I just, my time with the case studies were at least maybe two to three minutes because I what I did was I 
every day I did at least three case studies. So I was comfortable with the case studies. So I identified or I figured out what exactly they were looking for. Once I clicked those, I moved forward. The case study for me, because they were only, they're only looking for specifics, I was able to decipher what they were looking for and move on. So I spent less time with the case studies than I did with the regular questions. And did you, did you run out of time, time Tarvis, or no? No, I had, I still had about 40 minutes left before the time, before I cut off. What is the, the best advice that you can give Samuel for any nurse out there preparing for the NCLEX now? What will you say to them? This is your opportunity to share your advice. Okay, my advice is that I want, if you are a repeat test taker, because I'm a repeat test taker like me, if you are one, I want you to know that you are not alone and do not self-doubt yourself and stick to just one Q bank and the endless crusader videos, then you are good to go. Not too much of resources. And if you are just a one-time, like a one-time test taker, just stick with the, the endless crusader and just one Q bank and that's it. Okay. How about you, Mr. Taurus? Uh, so I will say this. It's a mental, it's um it's more of a mind thing. So you have to prepare yourself to take at least 150 questions. You might be able to pass it in 85, but mentally prepare yourself to take 150 questions. That is the only way that you can effectively, because NCLEX is not a race, it's more of a endurance. So pace yourself, answer the questions, uh, believe in yourself and just trust God that he will bring out everything that you've studied. So it, it's more of a endurance race where you have to pace yourself and just think that I will overcome. I try not to get overwhelmed with too much um, information because you don't want to, you don't want to be overloaded with so much content from different because everybody has their own way of answering questions. Everyone has their own way of prioritization. Uh, but whatever works best for you, I realized that NCLEX Crusader works for me. And it's all about what is what you're comfortable with. All right, guys. Well, thank you very much for dedicating your time to no. share your experience with us and all these wonderful nurses out there. God bless you, Mr. Tarvis and Mr. Samuel. God bless you and your family. And Go be the best nurse you can be. And congratulations you. for you. Uh, achieving this dream of becoming a registered nurse in the United States. Congratulations. Thank you.